All right, boys and girls, look at this. Beautiful day behind us, flat calm on the old skiff, thanks to CJ right there behind me. Top. Two, three hundred. Nothing better to start your day. So basically we just came out of the inlet and we've been going up and down the beach. CJ and Adam got a bunch of spots marked and that mark you get just saw on the screen, that's literally all sardines, cigar minnows, sometimes greenies on bottom. Sometimes we see them flicking up top, but this is actually the fourth spot we checked. So sometimes you don't get them in the first four. And there's a wad of boats behind us and we're the only ones on this bait rock and there's like no bait on theirs that we just left. So. We got the old sabiki rigs doubled up and all sabiki rig is is these little hooks and it looks like there's plankton or whatever they eat on there. Just in sequence you got like eight hooks and we try to catch as many as we can. Jay's loaded up. Woo! Adam, this is your favorite thing to do. Why are you not happy, man? I'm very happy. I'm just I'm just on a silent tear right now. Very silent. I gotta stay honest with the bait. Cigar minnow right here. So when one bites, it just it like flashes down there and entices the other one. I snag this one. And then entices the other ones to bite sometime. I lassoed him. He didn't even eat it. Oh wait, he did eat one. It entices some of the other baits to bite when one bites, so that's why we double rig them. You can catch as many as as many as possible in one drop. Boys, this is what me and CJ live for every morning. It's just stringing bait like this. There's no better feeling in the world. That's pissing me off. That was a weak one. All right, we just smoked the baits. Check this out. The live mill is full. Into the well we go. No better feeling, now we're headed offshore. This unreal south tide. The water looks way too south, south. south. Down here in South Florida, the Gulf Stream runs from south to north. We almost always, when we're fishing offshore, we want what's called a north tide, or the current going from the south to the north. That's all that warm water coming from the south, going north, usually the bait fishing is better, almost every single pelagic species, and even snapper bites much better on a north tide. It's a south tide right now. Usually when we get cold fronts, we got a west wind right now, cold water from up north will push down, and it I don't know if it shuts down the bite or what it does, but it definitely messes up things, so that's what we're dealing with right now, but you gotta play the cards that you're dealt with, and uh, right now we don't have a very good hand. But we're, we're gonna, gonna, we're, gonna make, we're gonna make it happen. Vic pretty much told you guys the truth there. When you go, when you fish a lot, when you fish every day, you're bound to run into bad days. Just how, how it works, but you gotta, you gotta know what to do. Like Vic said, you gotta play your card. So we're gonna figure it out. We'll make it happen. Right? Huh? A little sleeper. Sleeping on it. A little yep. sleeper. Definitely not a mutton. In, Goliath, in other words, Goliath. Okay. You always turn so I can't see the cat. You wait, okay. my fish is going up here. <laughs> I don't know what a man took it sounding I have. A nice metonium. Oh, I love it. You gotta love it. I don't know. I got love eight. that. Just you just got eight right there. You saw that, dude? Here's a little tackle got breakdown one. for you guys. Usually we fish 6 0 must at ultra points, but we're out of them right now, so we're fishing 5 O's. And you guys can save 20% off all must add hooks and all must add products. Use my code Landshark linked below. Tail hooking them right here. Who swims out with the south tide? Very mutt nice. You're sleeping with I know, you. I know. I got a 5 0, Jay. this little slide that you got going here. Uh -huh. uh -uh. All, 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 all right, well the bottom fishing did not last very long. 
We had a really bad tide, so we came out here, started to pull on a drift. We got some sardines out. And you know, Vic's got to drop the jig. So we'll see what we got. Oh, okay. Okay. Vic, I would love to see you straight up and down, and we'd love that. Yeah. It is straight up and down right now. Beautiful, babe. Oh, it's a petite bait. You don't need a gaff yeah. You want this thing, Caesar? I want them. Do you? Yeah, let me take a picture of them. You don't, do you actually want them? No. Take the Different color. You know, after all the fish you guys see us kill, how about this? Look at this, a release for once. All right, so here's what we got going on. Live sardine, 6.0 ultra point, and then we do have a little wire rig. Just cause if we do hook a wahoo, or if a wahoo eats, we don't want to get cut off. If you have the right bait, they're eating it. it. Just doesn't matter. So what are we doing right now? We're bump trolling. So like we said earlier, the wind died, so we can't we can't drift with the wind, the current. And there's, it's kind of weird. We got so many different rips out here, and it's just like a huge circle. So I'm fishing a short bait, a little shotgun bait, and then we got a strip dredge right here, and it just, it's pretty much just flashing the water. It doesn't matter, but it causes some type of commotion. A dolphin could see it from all the way inside and come out, or they could see our baits. Who knows? But. Boy, this one hooked a big dolphin, big dolphin. Bum troll, the old bum troll. Yeah, because we've only been doing it for an hour. All right, old so married couple, come <laughs> on, make no, up, make No, me and up. CJ have been arguing literally all day. You want me to keep it in gear? Are you good? Charge in the boat, charge in the boat. Yeah, put it, put it in gear, 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 gear. Yeah, that thing took some line, didn't it? All right, you're good, you're good, you're good. It's gotta be a big fish. It is, nice job. No way this thing is under 15 pounds. Nice. Hi, boys. Did you see it jump, CJ? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't even come all the way out of the water. You know the vibes? So we came out here, tried numerous drifts with I'm the jig, keep you in gear, caught a couple of bonitas, like of gear. no yeah, tuna really bites, nothing other, nothing other than a couple of bonita bites. And then you guys see right here behind me, this is called a rip. It's when you have two opposing bodies of water. So you'll have one um, body of water moving north, the other moving south, and it's kind of them colliding. And there's a big weed line right here, and we've just been slow trolling our live sardines along this thing. And like 250 feet, and CJ hooked a nice dolphin Listen, right now. We've been grinding it out all day. We have horrible conditions. Such a nice rip right here. And we just, the wind died, we couldn't drift anymore, so we decided to bump troll in. We were, we were due for a bite. So when you don't have any wind and you're not able to drift properly, you're not covering a lot of water. So that's why we decided to do a little bump trolling where you're in and out of gear, just slow trolling the sardines. Be nice if you got a few jumps out of them. No, I'm happy like this. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, let's watch him jump. No, you don't need to, just put him in the boat. You worried about him shaking the hook? Yeah. We were due for a bite, boys. We really were. We've been fishing since 6.30 a.m. and it's what? Noon? Yeah, noon and this is our first fish on. We've had a couple of bites, this is our first fish. All about putting your time in. That's how it works. Three we hooked miles. that fish in 270. We've just been waiting for this moment all day. Nice fish. Still a real nice fish. No. It wasn't done. No. Oh! I, when you said he did jump. No. no, he jumps, he jumps. Man, he's really doing circles on us, isn't he? He's a hard fighter. Just digging in the current. Come on, buddy. Right till you got him. <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh. Just dropped. Jay Meister, he's so sorry. Very, very it ripped typical. out. Look, I'm it sorry, ripped. But that's going in the video. Oh yeah, it's going in the video. Ripped through his head. Yeah. That was a good gap shot. I think it also slacked up on you because he charged you. I banged my knee very hard. That thing's over 20. Look at his back. It's all messed up. Yeah, because I can. Nice! Oh, that thing is freaking... Woo! Oh, hell yeah, guys! 
we were due for one. And that is why you go straight into the pool. Sorry about the first gaff shot there. It literally ripped right through his head. Hey, Jay. Nice. Good job. Very sus on the gaff shot here, boys. Jay, don't even. Here, I, open, are open you it. kidding yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gotta be 25 pounds. Yeah, Yo, hold him the other way. It looks way sicker. Yeah, straight up and down. Hold Come on, Jay. Where's the enthusiasm? We know you love to fish. It's sure. Listen, you guys, it's because he's a legend. It's because he's Watch caught it. so many of these things that it doesn't even phase him anymore. See that? No. It was that easy? That easy. So what's your biggest one out here? Uh, 54. Huh. Same spot, too. Just north of the inland, 270. Look at how beautiful these fish are. You got all the greens and blues and yellows. This is what people dream of catching. Especially a day like today with the conditions. Yeah. No one's catching anything. So we're eating good tonight, that's for sure. If you guys don't drop a like on Vic's video right now. Yes. Right, literally yeah. right now. That's right. Drop right a like now. right now. Right now, because we're out here for you guys. That's it. Right. Now he's Maybe turning he's blue, be... dude. Look at his spot. Maybe ain't that, what is that right there? 26. 26. We call it a 25 pounder. All right, guys, so we're headed in. One stud dolphin by CJ, of course. You know me. I try to help out my buddies whenever I can, and CJ actually has a business. His family does ceramic coating on boats, so I'm gonna let him tell you guys a little bit about that right now. All right, guys, so the product is called Ceram Lock. It's a ceramic-based resin clear coat that we put on gel coat or paint. So if you own a boat in South Florida, you know how difficult the environment is. You got the salt, the sun, corrosion, oxidation, and that's even before you get on the boat. So what this does is it's an alternative to your wax. So there's two reasons you'd want to Ceram Lock your boat. Well, there's a lot more, but the main points are reduced maintenance and easy cleanup. As far as metal work goes, no more polishing, reduced pitting and water spotting. So then the next thing is when you get on the boat and you're fishing all day, yeah, you know, I can't tell you how many people's boat I've been on and you guys the same, where after every fish, you're grabbing the brush or the hose to get the blood off because you're scared that the blood's gonna dry on it and you're not gonna be able to get it off. And then when you get back to the dock, you have to spray some kind of cleaner on there and you're taking the wax and whatever protectant off as well, which does you no good. Some days, you know, we're in a rush, we gotta get back in, Adam's gotta do something, I gotta go to work, whatever it is, and we might not be able to clean the boat, and I'll get to it that night or the next morning and uh, brush with a little bit of water and get everything wet and hose it all off and you're good to go. There's no scrubbing, you might not even have to break out any soap. So I'm gonna have all of CJ's stuff linked below, his website and everything. So if you guys want to check it out, you guys can in the description box below. But this is the best time of year for a big dolphin in South Florida. April and May, we get a really big run of fish like this, those 20 plus pound fish. And then as the summer months come on, they get smaller and smaller and smaller, but they get more abundant. You see how this dolphin's head is real flat? You have bull dolphins and cow dolphins. This is a bull, which means it's a male. They have a real blunt head. Cows have more of a rounded head right here. Start right there, go there, and then just follow that head meat. on the spine and let's separate. This gap shot's messing me up. See, look at all that head meat right there. Can't neglect it. Okay, other side of the backbone. Break through that pin bone. We got a real big backbone compared to other fish. There we go. Big old slab of mahi right there. Wham! Look at that. You know, I'm actually surprised. Look, this is where Adam gaffed it on the other side, and I thought that the meat was gonna be ruined. There's the hole. Look on this side. Not bad at all. There's just something so satisfying about the rack of a big fish. I don't know about you guys, but I love it. And if you guys are liking this video so far, please give it a like. It really helps out the channel grow and push out the videos to 
other you well to other subscribers like you guys you notice i did not rip the skin of this dolphin it's a big no-no at this fillet table on this house you're gonna get a much better fillet if you actually take the time to skin it and what i like to do since the main reason people don't like to skin them is because the skin is really thin and you pierce through it so make your fillet smaller cut it there okay now instead of skinning a giant piece you can just skin a smaller piece. Line it up with the fillet table. And another thing that helps, you can leave a very small layer of meat on the skin. It's not gonna kill you, look at that. Because dolphin have a huge bloodline and that's that real fibrous stuff that ends up in your fillet if you pull the skin. So we will see you guys in Jupiter and about to cook this dolphin up. So we're actually in Adam's backyard right now. Got the side burner going. We're gonna do a little bit of seared blackfin tuna with a little salad. You guys are gonna see that in a second. CJ actually caught this tuna the same day, but a little bit later. So going down with a little sesame oil. This is just two mangoes pureed. Your simple, just blended mango. We're gonna go down on the serving platter and then we're just gonna spoon it on here. This is baby arugula. It could be, I love it, but a lot of people think it's bitter. So this is a little homemade vinaigrette I got going on. Soy sauce, ginger, garlic powder, cilantro, sesame oil, lime juice, rice vinegar. We're gonna. Toss that and then just coat the arugula. And you want to do this at the very end because arugula will kind of break down and you want it to be nice and vibrant and crisp. Mm -hmm. Now with our arugula, we're just gonna go and lay it on there. And you see that color pop right away? That's good stuff. What up boys? Who we got in the house tonight? We got Sam Busa Brown. This right here, this is Dan. How are we doing? Adam's brother. Living weight editor. We got Adam from moving away. Back, hey, listen. Victor just took over my kitchen. Victor and Brooke hopped right in. They just started taking it over, but I'm not complaining. We're enjoying it. We got Stormy right here. Say what's up. What's up? We got Rye Dog. What up? We got Johnson hanging out in the back. Wow, I've heard them asking about you, Johnson. Hey, you know, oh, and he's repping too. Look at this shirt. Moving away shirt. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that, that's money. Just the outside coated. And if you guys have never had seared blackened tuna, you know, a lot of people do sesame, but that blackened, that's good. Yeah, that's beautiful. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you see how it's not falling apart at the edges? You barely want to cook it. The more you cook it, the more it's going to fight you. We usually do sesame seeds, but I'm, I'm excited for the blackened. So we're going down with the blackfin. Mm. On top of the arugula and mango. Victor, that looks there you go. unreal. Unreal. Beautiful. Let's see how it tastes. Let's see. It is so good though. We need, we need, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. Boston How are we feeling over here, Ryan? Unreal. He's Eat already gone. Safe. He's eating the scraps. Stormy. A 10 out of 10, so good. You guys, you guys see it here. We gotta hear a review from Johnson now. Compliments to the chef, Victor. That was delicious. Thank Appreciate you it. Thank you. Herms. Wonderful. Lights out, Chew. Lights out. Wow. <laughs> it is good. Listen, out. I don't like mango and my plate's so gone. Good. I ate it all. Vic's made searfish a lot of different ways, but that's the first time he's ever paired it with like the mango puree. Absolutely delicious. So definitely give that a try if you guys are fans of mango. And there are even people here that aren't fans of mango and they liked it. So definitely give it a try. First of all, if you're not a fan of mango, you're crazy because mango's the best fruit in the world. Seared fish, I'm not gonna lie, it's usually just boring, It you right? Yeah. It usually is, like sesame seared tuna, it's, it just really doesn't have a lot of flavor. This was the best seared fish I've ever had. It was so good, so flavorful. Good job, Vic. Papa Vic, whipping it up again. Now this is gonna be a little mahi fingers. Basically, just coated in panko, and I let them soak in buttermilk as the binding agent first. Check that out. Beautiful golden brown. Mm -hmm. 
a little homemade spicy mayo, sriracha, sweet chili, mayo, sour cream. Cut off with a little scallion for some freshness. You guys are probably gonna think this is crazy, but Adam and CJ are not big dolphin guys, but I gotta see this right here. None we aren't dolphin are. fans. None of the Malusis are. And it's not because it, the you mom know, is. Victor cooked it. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna eat it. Tastes like snapper, buddy. It tastes like snapper. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. But you like it. Mmm. Really good. It's good, Victor. Dolphin. Very shocking. That's like that. We knew it was gonna be good because Victor cooked it. Arm approved. This is gonna be the third thing we're making. We got a little mahi slider action going on. I know the pieces are huge now, but it's easier to work with a big piece of fish on the grill, especially one that could potentially fall apart on you. So cook the big piece, then cut it into slider size. And these are just brushed with a little avocado oil and blackened seasoning. The grill's nice and hot. Now our dolphin goes on. It's really good, guys. It's super tender. People tend to over grill fish. Don't worry about undercooking it. Look at that. Tender and juicy. So we're gonna make some dolphin sliders. We got the dolphin fingers on the grill. A little red chili, cilantro, mango, red onion, yellow, red bell peppers, and then the coleslaw. I tossed this in a little bit of salt, pepper, lime juice, honey, sweet peppers. The vinegar and the sugar in here, I'm gonna pour a little bit of that in there. It's delicious. And we can toss a few in there too. All right, so we're going down with the dolphin sliders. Big shout out to Babe Brookie right here. She's been an all-star all night. And if you guys don't know, she has her own channel as well. I have it on the screen as well as linked below. Sue Chef. Check her out. Sue Chef Brookie. So I, we got guac which is literally just avocado smushed up. On the bottom of the sliders, we got our grilled dolphin. And then, this is that slaw I showed you guys earlier. This is mango, banana peppers, red chili peppers, red onion, uh, coleslaw, green cabbage, and a little bit of lime juice, honey. We can't let this go to waste. This is that little spicy, Sweet chili mayo. Oh We're gonna put it on top of there. Little friends and family. Can't beat it. Slider. Wow. Go for it, Vic. Mm-hmm. You guys gotta try this. Is it spicy? It's, it's no, it's so good. Mm-hmm. 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 Dan? Speechless. What do we got? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro, Guys, are we going for one? Adam can't cook, so wow. if you're into the if you're into the cooking stuff, are Victor's you, channel's worse. Are you kidding me? I'm just saying. No, yeah, Victor. Victor's got the cooking channel. I'm just sorry. One bite, everybody knows the rules, okay? Wow, that is really good. Could you give me a little black, honey? Yeah. Bro, that's money, Victor. Good job. And one for the camera. This is the most dolphin the Lucy family has eaten in about <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> I'm about to go Sam. in for a little bit. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Victor. You're welcome. Yep. As I expected. They I would it. order one of these. Wow. wow. I was in a restaurant. Wow. That was a no, bold No, it thing. would be good in a restaurant. All right, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. Love cooking for these people. And if you haven't already, check out Adam's channel. I'm going to have a link below as well as on the screen, as well as Berkey's channel. Till the next one, see ya. See ya. See ya.